Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick review of Kopi Luwak coffee beans and this coffee was very kindly sent to me by um, viewer Dave and he sent me a quick note which I'll quickly read out, it says Hi David, coffee enclosed, I just tried it as a small espresso, finely ground, no hot water, no sugar, no milk, it's not bad. This pack is about £20. I have sent about two thirds of the pack. That's a crazy price. It was a good taste, but I don't feel good about how it was obtained. To me, it wasn't much different from any other decent quality coffee. See what you think. Keep up the good work. And it says, that was from Dave, subscriber Dave. P.S. Don't tell my son because his son had just come back from Indonesia and this was one of the things that he brought back for his dad and yeah he included some massive elastic bands um, so a massive thank you to Dave those um, lazy bands will come in handy for um, sealing coffee bags when I'm halfway through them so a massive thank you so yeah if you're not aware of the Kopi Luwak coffee it's actually Look at the sad looking animal they put on the front of the pack there for all the sort of animal rights activists to get sad about. Yeah, it's actually fed to the cat or whatever type of creature it is. And then it goes through the cat's digestive system. It's collected at the other end and then washed and roasted. I've actually got um, James Hoffman's, if you can get it, into vote into the shot there world atlas of coffee and he is dead against this type of coffee i can tell you that i'll read the qu quick little bit what he's got in the book it says in in indonesia if you can get it into focus there it says in the in the in indonesia kopi lawak refers to coffees that are produced by collecting the drop droppings of civet cats that have eaten coffee cherries this semi-digested coffee is separated from the fecal matter and then processed and dried. In the last decade, it has come to be seen as an amusing novelty with un unattributed claims of its excellent flavours and it sells for spectacularly high prices. Um, this has caused two main problems. Firstly, the forgery of the coffee is quite commonplace. Several times more is, several times more is sold than produced. An often low-grade robusta is being passed off as off at high prices. Secondly, it has encouraged unscrupulous operators on the island to trap and cage civet cats, force feed them with coffee cherries, and keep them in terrible conditions. Now he all he goes on there to say that he finds it abhorrent. So that is the little bit of information there. We'll take a look at the pack. And it says 100% Kopi Luwak. Uh, what's it say there? Coffee and tea leaf, roasted beans, Arabica. This is 50 grams in this bag. So this was 20 pounds for 50 grams. So this has got to be one of the most expensive coffees around this one. Um, it does say it's 100% Arabica, or at least it says Arabica on there. And a bit of the description on the packet says Civic Coffee is a cup of Civic Coffee made from the coffee from coffee beans that have been given to mongoose or civet as a food ingredient. Coffee beans are processed in the digestive mongoose and come out along with the rest of civet droppings. This this coffee beans certainly have different flavours. This is what makes Civic Coffee taste more unique and delicious. And there we go, that's where it was packaged in Indonesia there. The best before date is December 2021, so that's about two years, over two years on the best before date on this one. And that's the currency there in Indonesia. So, yeah, what it, the pack has been opened. I haven't actually had a smell of the beans, but what I'll do is... I'll open the pack up now fully 
and then tip some out on the tray here. They look like decent quality beans actually. Quite large for the Arabica beans. They do look a bit more robust like. Just having a smell there. Quite a strong smell, um, earthy, fruity, chocolatey. There we go. So, decent quality beans. What I'll do now is I'll throw, I don't know what that is there, it looks like a little bit of charcoal. I hope it's charcoal. Doesn't look like a coffee bean, so I don't know what that is. Right, so that is the quick introduction. So my plan is, over the next few days, is to try this three ways. I'll try this in the espresso machine, in the Aero press, and the French press. So um, what I'll be doing is I'll be trying it in the espresso machine first. So I've got the beans ready to put in the grinder and as I say the aroma now I've had a bit more of a smell of it is earthy, woody, it's got a certain creaminess there too, uh, slightly smoky but it's nothing amazingly complex in aroma so there we go so let's pop them in the grinder and as I say, I'm going to be trying this in the espresso machine. So, there we go. Let's check out the... Um, Tells a slightly different aroma now that the beans have been ground, but just let me give this a quick bang so that when we open the lid it doesn't all fly everywhere. And there we go, there's the ground coffee. I'll have a quick smell of it. Mmm, yeah, it's it's a nice smelling coffee. There is a certain floral hint there and a very slight fruity hint. Even a sort of like celery sort of hint in there with like that sort of bite that celery has to it. But yeah, there's the ground coffee. What I'll do now is I'll get set up with the espresso machine and um We'll make a quick cup in the espresso machine. So I'm set up now, I've got my coffee in my scoop, ready to put in my basket. These are pressurised um, baskets, these. This is uh, single espresso, I'll try the single espresso first. And as, I, uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos if you've got one of these machines don't over tamp the coffee just level it off um, otherwise it'll block the machine but it, it it's okay with coarse grinds in these machines so that is a pretty sort of coarse grind there so let's pop it in the machine if we can get it all the way there and I need a cup and the one that I've got doesn't fit under there, so I'll have to remove the drip tray. So, single espresso. So, there we go. It didn't look very strong, so I may have to try... Uh, it has a double espresso at some point. Uh, I think in the Aero press and the French press I should be alright with a single 
um, scoop of coffee in there in there but I may try a double espresso next time with this one so now it's stopped dripping I'll replace the drip tray there is the resulting cup not much liquid in there to be honest have a quick smell does have a sort of French French roast sort of um, feel about it this this coffee and um, what I'll do is I'll have a quick sip of the espresso and then I'll add water try it again add milk try it again very bitter super bitter in fact that is not very nice to be honest with you as an espresso so let's, now I've added a bit of water to it, as you can see, I'll have another taste. Mm. It's a bit better that, um, with more water added. I'll just uh, move the camera so you can see. So there we go, there's the cup. Not a very strong coffee. Not much flavour there to be honest with you. I don't know whether to add sugar or milk first um, to give it a try. Let's add some milk to it and give it a try with no sugar and just milk. And see what that's like. It just tastes pretty plain to be honest with you. It is quite sweet. It is quite a sweet coffee because even without sugar added it does taste sweet to me and normally I do prefer a little bit of sugar in my coffee. But there's nothing amazing about it I would say. I don't want to really add sugar but I'll give it a try. I'll just add sort of a third of a spoon. Just there and give it another quick try. Yeah. Hopefully when I try it in the Aero Press and the French press I may get more from it, but at the moment it's just a quite bland bland coffee really. Nothing it's not like the um, Panama Geisha that I reviewed a long time ago, which was the other really expensive coffee that I've tried. That was really quite wonderful in flavour, and you like nothing else I've ever tried them um, before. So yeah, what I'll be doing next is I'll be trying it in the Aero Press and the French Press, and then I'll be coming back at the end and give a quick recap. So I'm on a bit of a roll, so I thought I'd um, get the espress uh, the Aero Press machine out and give it a try in that because I didn't get much from the espresso machine. Um, so let's give it a try in the Aero Press. So here we go. Let's give it a quick plunge. Now, yeah, like I say, if it was a amazingly complex and wonderful coffee, you could sort of say okay let's um, get it regulated and not have people caging animals to produce this coffee because if this is the standard of this um, Kopi Luak coffee I'm not that impressed and I'd say for anyone who's thinking of going out there and trying it expecting a wonderful coffee it, you're not going to get it it's a pretty basic um, bland flavour as I say for the novelty value maybe if you're into sort of fart jokes and things like that you may find it amusing but not really in my opinion so there we go there's the coffee from the Aero Press now when I was drinking the espresso I'll just have a quick taste Mm. 
Yeah, it's that sort of slightly stronger taste that you get from the Aero Press, but it's um, it's quite weak in body as well, I would say. Um, one thing I'd noticed when I was drinking the um, coffee from the espresso machine was it's very peppery and I've just noticed now having this quick taste it's very peppery and it's not very nice um, it's like actual white pepper is in the um, coffee so just turn that off because it's making the camera go haywire um, it's quite acidic too um, one thing is there's no bitterness but it does leave you with that sort of dry mouth after taste so yeah let's have another quick taste yeah it's just very very bland coffee um, as I say it's earthy with woody hints I'm not picking up that creaminess that I was getting from the smell of the beans but yeah really disappointed in this coffee and as I say because it goes through this sort of process of um, being made through this um, animal it just doesn't seem worth the hassle um, so I don't know where it's come from this idea of um, it's, it's okay and it does say that it's a wild wild luwak um, arabica beans and some are collected from sort of the forest and things like that but it's these um, caged animals and um, processing that's going on that um, people are unhappy about with this coffee but as I say if it was similar to the Panama Geisha and it was something absolutely wonderful my dogs clip clopping on the floor I would say yeah like it may be worth going through the hassle but the resulting coffee is nothing that special so what I'll be doing is I'll be trying this out um, one last time in the French press and um, I'll come back and give you my final thoughts so this is my try of the Kopi Luwak in the French press and I can't really add much more than what I've already said uh, rather than it's quite disappointing. One thing I've noticed in the French press is it does take on a sort of um, metallic sort of hint that I, uh, I didn't find very pleasant but one plus point is there is a very slight fruitiness and it, it is I would say a sort of distinct taste but it's not nothing really very special or anything worth going to this amount of trouble to get a cup of coffee from so quickly I'll go over the plus and negatives with this coffee the pluses are it's naturally sweet there's no real bitterness with this coffee and it's not terrible um, I'll give it that um, I'll have a quick taste and tell you what I think of it Yeah, it's <clears throat> quite woody with an earthy taste as well but as I say it's not a terrible coffee um, if it was terrible um, well I don't know what what would be happening why people are charging £20 for it I don't know if people told me that this was a £2 or a £3 coffee I wouldn't think anything of it I wouldn't think oh that's a wonderful coffee for £3 I'd say yeah that sounds about right so the negatives are it's got that white pe white pepper hint which I really didn't like it's quite acidic I thought and it's rather bland as well um, nothing special about it as I say and that metallic taste that I've noticed from drink trying it in the French press the Aero press it had uh, maybe I sometimes pick up like a sort of burnt hint um, from my coffee sometimes when it's in the Aero press and I, I, I did pick that up um, from there so yeah I would say do not go out of your way to buy this coffee and pay stupid prices for it it is not 
it's not worth it at all for this coffee. Um, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Dave and I forgot to mention he has got a YouTube YouTube channel um, which has got a, only a few videos on I think it's two videos on but I'll leave a link in the description for anyone who's interested in taking a look at that I think he's um, um, fixing up a laughing policeman to go into um, some um, premises and um, will collect money for charity so that's a wonderful cause I think it's the Mar uh, Marie Curie um, charity that he's um, doing that for so as I say a massive thanks to Dave and his son um, for getting in this coffee and to Dave for sending it to me as I say don't touch this coffee it's really not worth it um, anyone who's tried this coffee um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you've been to Indonesia yourself and seen this process going on um, let me know um, in the comment section below if you've tried this coffee let me know what you think of it as well in the comment section um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future subscribe to my channel that was my quick review thanks for watching bye for now